guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina and in today's video I do have the um, Sonic Blend Brush Tool. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to figure out what the deal is with this brush, you know, whether it applies foundation, concealer, everything like it says it does. And this is this video is kind of going to be like a first impressions on the brush itself. If you guys are interested in seeing how I use this brush for the first time and my thoughts on it, then uh, please keep on watching. Let's just jump right into the video, shall we? So the brush, uh, Sonic Blend brush came with this uh, little package right here and it has um, an instructions manual on how to use this uh, blending brush. A uh, whole kit came with is the holder, the brush holder. This is the bottom half of it. This is the brush handle itself. It's like a little uh, kabuki brush. It's synthetic bristles. And all you do is you do this and then you attach the brush on top. And you hear like a little click and just make sure it's not moving. So it has three uh, kind of speeds. So if I press this once, it has this one speed, second, and then like it will, like it's, uh, this is the highest speed. So then if you press this again, it will stop. Okay, so that's how you use the brush. Now obviously I have um, washed the brush head itself with like um, any brush cleanser that I use. So this is the first time I'm using it, so I just wanted to read you some instructions. Now it does say to um, use the brush with uh, both liquids and powders. Although my preference is to just use it with liquids and creams because I don't really like um, such dense brushes for powders anyway. That's just my preference. So for any liquid, it is saying to apply it on the back of your hand on our, or on a plate and then use the, the brush uh, with the power off and take the product and then, you know, use it in that circular motion. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the foundation uh, dab some on my face and then use the brush to blend it in on the one side so you can see um, what it looks like on one side versus the other. I have the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and um, in the shade Medium Dark. Now this actually just released in Canadian drugstores I think. I didn't see it before so I'm really excited to try it. So I'm going to use the spatula end and just apply a few dabs like I don't know how much I need so I think that should be enough I'll do one side and then we'll kind of uh, check in the mirror and then I'll do the other side as well I'm gonna use the one in the lowest speed setting just to see how it works so this is the first speed and it says to use it from my god this has a weird it feels weird this feels a little bit weird not gonna lie <laughs> now I'm using this gently because I don't you know I don't know if I'm on an, if I'm doing this correctly or not. So I'm going to look closely in the mirror to see if it blended right. So here's the thing that I'm noticing on my face area here, it blended out really really well. Um, but I had a little bit of trouble um, like around the nose area um, it didn't really blend it out so well just because there are like so many contours here of the nose so yeah but it looks it blended out this foundation really really nicely and I just used the um, lowest setting that it came with so what I'm gonna do is um, do the other side of the face 
and then uh, we'll try out like bronzer, blush, and uh, concealer. Let's finish this half of my face, and I'll be right back. So this time I'm gonna use it a little fast because I kind of I can tell the sensation, like what it feels like. Um, it just looks flawless. Like it doesn't look um, like it skipped any area really. It yeah it looks pretty even it looks pretty nice on the skin the way it says to use concealer is that to apply it um, again on the brush but I'm just gonna apply it right there but it says to lightly sweep the brush head like this um, to kind of you know to make sure that uh, the concealer blends it nicely we'll see I'm a little bit scared to use it under like very close to my eyes but we'll see So I'm concealing on the usual areas of my face. Same setting, I'm not changing it. So honestly, like, I don't want to bring the brush, like, too close to my eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop and just use my fingers to go, like, right in the, in my socket. It does say you can use it with powder, so I'm going to try it out with powder once. I'm not sure if I like it with powder just because I don't like dense brushes with powders anyways. That's just my opinion. But I'm going to use the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. And I'm going to dot the... It's right here. Just going to pack this in with powder. I'm going to start right and then... Try to powder my face. It, it did kind of mattify the center of my face, but I'm just going to go in and add some more powder on my own. I'm just going to wipe the brush on a, a clean cloth and then uh, go ahead and use my bronzer. So for today's bronzer, I'm going to use the cream bronzer from Milk Makeup. It just looks something like that. I'm going to flip my hair back. Alright, so I have added some. Now it does say, well it does say it's a bronzer but I feel like it's more of a contouring uh, type bronzer because it looks a little cool tone. So again, same brush. Last bit, I'm gonna use blush. This is a uh, Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer blush. Um, it's a really beautiful blush. Now for blush, I'm not gonna apply it directly on my face. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, just very liquidy. So I'm just tapping off, just putting very little on the brush. It's gonna start it again. And just apply it. So I feel like with the blush, because it was so lightweight, um, it kind of just um, ate the blush, but it gave me a really nice like flush on the cheeks. But I do personally like a little bit more blush, 
So I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this just with my fingers and then just blend it out. What I'm gonna do is finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back uh, to tell you the final thoughts on this product. Yeah, I'm back with my final thoughts. So basically the uh, Sonic Blending Brush is a nice brush. Like, um, you know, it blended out my foundation pretty nicely. Um, it didn't leave it like, you know, streaky or patchy or anything. It blended out my cream product really nicely. Um, the only thing is it kind of ate my liquid blush uh, because it is such a dense brush. So it will tend to um, eat up some product. So be mindful of that. Um, it did kind of work with powder as well. So uh, yeah, it did work, but I did go back in and add some little powder, um, added some more powder as well. I don't have any complaints about the brush by itself. I just hope that, um, I guess, I'm not sure if they do sell different brush heads. So if they use like a more uh, softer brush head, that might be much better for like powders and things. But for liquids and creams, um, this worked very very well. I found that I would have to use my hands or even a beauty blender to just you know blend the areas of the face where the brush wasn't able to properly perform. Now would I recommend you guys to buy this? I mean it totally depends on you. Um, like this is a uh, newer kind of beauty tool and um, you know it is kind of different. Now you also have like your regular blending brush which I really love like this is the one from Real Techniques and uh, it's quite fluffy and it does the job just as good. I mean it comes down to your personal preference whether you'd want to spend uh, money on this brush or whether you would go with a brush like this. Okay so I forgot to say that this brush is uh, made by the company Michael Todd Beauty and on their website it lists as uh, being 79 uh, US dollars so yeah that is quite a big um, that is quite a big price tag for a brush like this but obviously it's a tool right it's like a, a mechanical tool it's not a um, just like your any other brush so it will be expensive it's where you can get Michael Todd Beauty you might just have to order from their website or I did see Michael Todd Beauty on beautybay.com. I don't know if they carry this, but you can have a look there too if you guys are interested. So that's it. That's um, my kind of first impressions review, um, my thoughts on it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick video uh, on the Sonic Blend brush and what the whole deal is about these kind of rotating brushes. So if you guys like this video, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye guys.